Hey there viewers and welcome back to the super long and super exciting very informative part number three of the Chevy head gasket video. So what we'll be doing here is removing the spark plugs and removing the exhaust manifolds from the heads. Uh, you can choose to completely remove the exhaust manifolds and I'm, in fact I think I'll end up doing that uh, anyway uh, for now I think I'm just gonna lay the the uh, manifolds to the side just to get the heads out of the way issue that you run into if you don't remove the manifolds from the exhaust pipes is that when you uh, go to torque the heads back on it can be kinda difficult to you know get your sockets and tools and things and torque wrenches in there and uh, it can be done so you can leave it all together if you want uh, but you just may find it easier to just go ahead and remove the manifolds completely. Uh, for now though we're just going to pull spark plugs and unbolt the manifolds from the heads and once that's done we'll be able to start uh, pulling the uh, rockers and all that stuff and get these heads yanked out of here. Okay so we're ready to start moving the uh, rocker arms and push rods. Uh, if you're not replacing all this stuff it's a pretty good idea and good practice to keep everything organized uh, from you know cylinder to cylinder, valve to valve, etc. Put it all in order, make a cardboard template, whatever you know, whatever the uh, kind of normal thing to do is, so that you can put everything back on the uh, in the same spot that you took it out on. Uh, is it super 100% critical and absolutely necessary? Uh, you know, some people say no. Uh, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I mean, it's definitely a good practice to keep everything um, organized like that. Uh, I actually had someone mix up all my rocker arms and push rods one time, and so you know it was just a guess as to as to which cylinder each push rod and each rocker arm went to. Ultimately, everything was fine. There wasn't any noticeable anything really, so. You know, would it be fine if some of them got mixed up? Probably. Uh, the point is of organizing is that there definitely is a certain type of wear unique to each push rod, each rocker arm, and it's going to be slightly different between between each set. It, enough to make any sort of noticeable difference? Maybe not. But if you can keep it organized, do so. Uh, I actually made a little template here, and we'll see that in a second. So that everything would be put back in the uh, orientation or direction or placement or segment or whatever. Anyway, the same spot that I took it out from. I'm just using a little magnet here to pick up the, uh, the nuts and the little spacer washer things here that go in the top of the rocker arms. So this is the common practice, just make a, a little template with a cardboard box, label your cylinders, put the rocker arms down and use the push rods to kind of poke a hole and uh, this will keep everything organized and you know, assuming nobody messes with you and tries to screw you up then uh, you'll be able to put everything back exactly where you took it out, which is not a bad idea, whether or not it's necessary like we said, maybe not, but why not do it the right way. Alright, we are just about ready to pull the heads, but first there's uh, some ground cables attached to the back of at least one of your heads, uh, maybe both. Uh, just go ahead and put your hands back there and check to see. You're going to have at least a ground on one of the heads, but check both just to make sure. Okay, so next we can start removing head bolts. Now technically, it will tell you to remove the head bolts in uh, an order opposite of the installation torque procedure or, or you know something there at least close to it working your way in reverse from how you would initially you know torque them on if you were installing them the fact of the matter is I don't normally do that because the heads are going to be machined the bolts will be replaced it's it really doesn't in the grand scheme of things make much of a difference and I'm sure someone will argue about that 
uh, but we're going to be working with a new machine surface and new gaskets and new head bolts um, it's just not going to make a whole lot of difference but if I'm telling you to do it the right way then the correct way is to work in the reverse order of installation so I've got the manifolds kind of bungeed here out of the way just so I can get uh, a socket and you know a tool down there to get these head bolts on the side uh, that's what I was talking about whenever you go to start tor torquing these things down having these manifolds here in the way can be uh, can be kind of irritating and and stuff uh, but it's not impossible and it really depends on how your exhaust is set up the way the exhaust on this truck is set up the both pipes you know they come together at their Y and then they're clamped together so that they they don't move independently of each other if your exhaust is not set up like that then then it may be significantly easier for you that's why I say just go ahead and you know pull the manifolds off first before, you know off the heads and leave them to the exhaust and leave them that way if you can just because it'll you know save some headache later if you can't then ultimately you may have to just you know yank them off uh, but it, it is doable it's just frustrating working around the manifolds so we get these things uh, uh, unbolted here and let this coolant drain down and, and uh, make its mess like it wants to and uh, get the rest of the bolts out and yank these heads off alright so you are going to have a couple different length bolts three length bolts I believe uh, so when you're pulling them out, just kind of compare them. It's, it's going to be pretty obvious what's different. The ones on the side of the head by the exhaust manifold are obviously uh, really short compared to the rest of them. And then you have uh, two different sizes here in the top part of the head. So just kind of keep those a little bit organized so you uh, kind of know what you're looking for when you go to reinstall the, uh, the new head bolts and the uh, head gasket and all that. All right, let's wrap it up. About ready to pull this head off here. Uh, once the heads are off, uh, we get to do the very fun part of cleaning, and you got to take the heads to the machine shop. Um, mostly cleaning, though. Cleaning is going to be uh, tedious and boring and time-consuming. There's going to be a lot of cleaning that we need to do, and it's very important that we get all that done. Uh, so, once the heads are off, take them to the machine shop. Uh, have them get them uh, checked out and machined if needed and it's a good idea to get all the uh, uh, valves ground and new seats and seals and the whole nine is really the best way to go once the heads are off uh, cheaping out at this point would be uh, counterproductive in my opinion uh, so let's get these heads off and uh, the next video we'll start cleaning things up